In this video, we're going to continue our discussion with capacitors by talking about the electric field produced in capacitors and dielectrics. Okay, so when a capacitor is charged, we know that one plate is gonna take on positive charge and the other plate is going to take on negative charge. As it turns out, there is an electric field that is produced between these capacitor plates and these electric fields is uniform. So the capacitor produces a uniform electric field. Now what we mean by uniform is that the magnitude and the direction of the electric field between the capacitor plates is the same. It's constant. And if you recall, electric fields point away from positive charges and towards negative charges. So here, the arrows I'm drawing in represents the electric field of the capacitor. And you can see how it's uniform, and it's all pointing down, and the plate on the top and the bottom, the charge is uniformly distributed, so the magnitude of this electric field is also the same. Now, as for how strong this electric field is, there's an equation you can use to calculate that. It is V equals ED. So here, V is the voltage across the capacitor plates. So of course, the greater the voltage, the greater the potential difference, the stronger the electric field that is produced. D is the distance between the plates. So D, distance between the plates. So essentially you can see that the electric field times the distance between the plates gives you the voltage. Okay, so now that we know about the electric field within a capacitor, we can now talk about the dielectric. So remember, before we were just assuming that there was a vacuum between the capacitor plates because dielectrics make the situation a little bit more complicated. Now we want to incorporate dielectrics. Dielectrics are insulating materials that are polarizable. Now, what I mean by polarizable is that these molecules have molecular dipoles that can be oriented in a particular direction. And uh, what we do with dielectrics is we add them between the capacitor plates to increase the capacitance. Now, I wanna talk about how dielectrics are able to increase the capacitance. So here I have a capacitor and this capacitor is charged and we know that this capacitor has an electric field, right? This is the electric field of the capacitor. What I want to look at now is inserting the dielectric. So let's go ahead and say that we're in the middle of adding our dielectric. So we have added the dielectric halfway and of course in a real capacitor you just add it in completely. This is just to better understand what's going on. So this is our dielectric. So the dielectric contains molecules that are polarizable. And again, this means that the molecules have a molecular dipole. One end has a positive charge, one end has a negative charge. And if you place them between a capacitor plates, the molecules will all be oriented in the same direction with the negative part of the molecule facing up and the positive part of the molecule facing down, all right? So for example, let's say you're looking at a molecule of water. All of the water molecules would have the oxygen oriented up towards the positive charge, and that's because we know the oxygen has a partial negative charge, whereas the hydrogens has a partial positive charge. So every molecule will be oriented like this between the capacitor plates. And What's significant about this is since the dielectric, these molecules have a molecular dipole, they also have a charge separation, and also they have a very weak electric field of their own, right? This is essentially a very small electric field produced by the molecule. But when you have a dielectric where you have tons, a lot of this molecule, then all of these molecular dipoles are going to be able to produce a lot of these small electric fields. And electric fields, they point from positive to negative. So essentially the dielectric is going to add in an electric field that is in the opposite direction of the capacitor. 
So now, when you add in the dielectric, you have to look at the total electric field between the capacitor plates, which is gonna be equal to the electric field of the capacitor plus the electric field of the dielectric. However, it's important to note that the electric field of the dielectric, these two, they are in opposite directions. So because they're in opposite directions, these two electric fields are going to uh, partially cancel out. They don't completely cancel out because the electric field of the capacitor is greater than the electric field of the dielectric, right? But since it partially cancels out, the main result of this is that addition of a dielectric reduces the total electric field between the capacitor plates. And what's important about this is if you weaken the total electric field between the capacitor plates, well by this equation, V equals ED, that will lower the voltage across the capacitor plates. And if you recall in our last video, current flows in the circuit charging up the capacitor until the voltage of the capacitor becomes equal to the voltage of the battery. If you add a dielectric, you lower the electric field and the voltage across the capacitor. This allows current to continue to flow to build up even more charges so allowing you to store more charge for the same voltage. So that's why we say that dielectrics increase the capacitance of the capacitor, and this is essentially the mechanism by which they achieve that, by lowering the total electric field between the capacitor plates.